Good morning, YouTube. It is Christine with Gage Girl Training. I'm bringing you guys a full day of eating vlog. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. So I start my day off with coffee, 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 coffee. And one thing I've been doing that I haven't talked about in previous videos is a few times a week, I integrate intermittent fasting. I probably have been doing this for about the last four to six weeks. I still eat breakfast and stuff sometimes, but I would say probably about three, four times a week, I employ intermittent fasting. What does that mean? It means that I go for specific periods of times without eating and I concentrate my food into typically about an eight hour window, sometimes even a touch smaller depending. It works really well for my schedule and it actually kind of started by accident because I would just have these days where I wake up early, start working and blink and it's lunchtime and I use it to my benefit. It's actually been helping me a lot with my health goals. So if you don't know what intermittent fasting is, the benefit of it is your body has the opportunity to take a break from having insulin spikes when you're fasting. And as a result of that, your pancreas, which releases the insulin hormone, has more residence time to release glucagon, the fat burning hormone. So I stick to black coffee during my fast. I know I did another video explaining all the things that you can have during that window, so check that one out. But it's gonna be black coffee till noon. I gotta get to the grocery store. It's Friday, so stay tuned, you guys. I'll show you guys everything I'm picking up, what I'm gonna make, and we'll take it from there. All right, guys, so my fast is over, and one thing that I've been doing that's been working really well for me is I've actually been eating like two bigger meals per day as opposed to like a breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Um, I like big meals and this has been a nice change up for me because it doesn't make me feel like I'm in a caloric deficit or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the foods that I'm working with. Um, I'm working with some grilled chicken strips. I get these from Trader Joe's, it's easy peasy. Especially when you're busy, you don't wanna to have to prep all the chicken and do tons of stuff. I always try to pick up something like this so I have something easy and ready to go. I'm gonna make that with some cherry tomatoes, mushrooms, and believe it or not, I'm actually going to be eating pasta. I don't typically show pasta in my meal prep videos because it's not something that typically works in my macros, but pasta is probably one of my favorite foods. And I make it work for me by breaking my meals up into two bigger meals so that way I can have more of them so that way you can see that I can still have fun foods and have them fit my macros. So let's get started. So I know the automatic next question you guys are gonna ask me is what are my macros? Now please note that my macros are not for you, they are my macros and it's what's working for me at this point in time. Um, I'm not incredibly active. I am weight training three times a week. I am working on 10,000 steps a day. And at this point, I am trying to lose a little bit of body fat. So I'm currently at 1,600 calories per day. I'm at 30% fat, 30% protein, and 40% carbs for my macro split at this point. But please don't use my macros as something for you to follow. Please note they are my macros. So I'm gonna show you guys the number one thing that makes you a little sad, at least me anyway, when I meal prep my pasta, or not meal prep, just cook it. You gotta weigh it dry. So I'm gonna show you guys here how I weigh it and make sure that I'm eating the right amount for my goals. Alright guys, so that's it. This is two ounces of linguine pasta. Alright guys, so while the garlic is set, I'm gonna start tearing the scale. And I love adding mushrooms to my pasta for some bulk. Again, I'm only having two ounces. You can have any pasta you want. I just love linguine. I see this is 2.1. I am just gonna go with it. 
I put the garlic in one tablespoon of olive oil. I have like a medium high now, so I'm just going to take these items and add it right here. And the pasta is cooking. In the meantime, I'm going to weigh out my chicken. I do prefer eating real whole food. So I'm going to measure out my protein. I'm gonna make sure I'm getting six ounces of chicken with this specific meal. This is what 6.1 ounces of chicken looks like. You can see over here, starting to saute. So for this chicken, I'm just going to chop it. And I'm just gonna to toss it right into the skillet. I love skillet meals, especially if you don't wanna meal prep and you just wanna make stuff fresh, which I enjoy sometimes. And today is one of those days. So there you have it. That has been going for about, I don't know, three to five minutes. Two more things I'm gonna add to this to make it just taste delicious. Black pepper. So I'm adding five pitted Kalmata olives, some fresh parsley. I love to add fresh herbs to my pasta. Now one little trick I have, I wanna just cook it down just a little bit more. So I'm gonna add some water to the skillet. Give it a little bit more steam. So here's what's left. Again, this is two ounces of cooked linguine pasta. This is my first meal. All of this is what I get to eat, and I was gonna be fancy and extra for you guys and put it on a regular plate, but guys, I legit eat off of paper plates. So before all of you environmentalists start ranking on me, this is just what I do, it works for me. I'm gonna season it with some sea salt and pepper. Boom, you can still eat pasta and eat healthy. All right guys, now I'm about to have my first a little snack of the day. This is Built Bar. You guys can save on this with promo code GAUGEGIRL. And they have these mix boxes of all these different flavors. These are so good. I want to let you guys know that I keep mine in the fridge. And of all of the flavors, my absolute favorite is the chocolate coconut. I encourage you, if you guys do order these, keep them in your fridge or your freezer because they are a little perishable. But these are a really healthy snack. It's got 15 protein, four fiber, four sugar, four fat, 110 calories. I probably, I'm probably gonna have another one later, but this is what I'm going for. I'm gonna open it up and show you what it looks like on the inside. It's like chocolate covered. I'll take a bite out of it just so you can see the inside. So good, so delicious. I'm having some black coffee. Builtbar.com and promo code Gidroll. All right guys, I just got my steps done for the 10,000 steps a day challenge. And I wanna show you this guy who got all of his steps in too. Did you get all your steps? Did you get all your steps? Yay. Is that better? Is that better? Super raw and unfiltered. I just finished my workout. I'll be showing you guys workouts in other videos, but this is a full day of eating. So I'm going to have a built bar post-workout and I'm having this coconut pineapple sparkling water. It's unsweetened from Target. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna be making dinner later. I got a bunch more stuff I gotta do on the computer. And yeah, so stay tuned and that's where I'm at so far. Guys, so while the salmon is cooking, I have it in the oven at 350. I am snacking on some raw almonds. 
and I will be preparing some rice and veggies to go with the salmon for my dinner. guys so I sauteed some Brussels sprouts and I'm having it with brown rice you can see in here I used the Trader Joe's everything with the bagel seasoning the salmon just came out the oven this lighting doesn't know justice because it looks absolutely delicious um, I'm actually going to portion out my salmon this is going to be my dinner and for everything else you guys as far as hitting the rest of my macros for the day my strategy is i will tabulate where i'm at and if i'm typically short on protein i'll have a collagen shake or a built bar but that's it guys that's how i eat in a day um comment below if you guys want to see more examples or any other full day of eating style videos hope you guys enjoyed it and there you have it folks have a great day thanks for joining in see you in the next one